The CDC has found a case of the kissing bug in Delaware, and we're not talking about mono. It's an insect that feeds off blood and carries a possibly deadly parasitic disease. Experts say there's reason to believe it could be anywhere in the north, including here in Michigan. 7 Action News reporter Amira David joins us with a look at why Michiganders should be on alert. Amira? Absolutely. It is an insect that claims both humans and dogs as its victims, and it seems like it is headed our way, all thanks to climate change. Have you ever heard of the kissing bug? No, I have not. It sounds like mono to me. No, only on Valentine's Day. Clearly, Metro Detroiters not real familiar with the kissing bug. It's difficult to control, and people don't know about it because they don't see it very often. In fact, it's rarely seen in northern states, period. The insect more commonly associated with rural, warmer climates in Central and South America or in southern states like Texas and Arizona. It seems to be moving north. The more people look, the more they're finding it. And they did find it. The CDC most recently confirming a little girl was bit by one in Kent County, Delaware. Just six months after the CDC reported, the bug was also found in Maryland, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. Glenn Hood, a biologist at Wayne State University, tells me we have climate change to thank as winters get shorter and summers get hotter, creating better environments for the bugs to flourish. What they do is they pierce the skin or the, the surface of whatever they're feeding on, and they suck blood up. But they like to feed on soft tissue because it's easier for them to pierce, so there are a lot of observations of them feeding on the lips of humans. And they do it without you knowing while you sleep. They feed on you, they engorge themselves, then they defecate. And when you wake up, the open wound itches. When you itch, you may move the fecal matter into your wound and infect yourself with a potentially deadly parasitic disease called Chagas, which can lead to serious cardiac and gastrointestinal complications. Oh, lovely. Another thing to worry about in the world. Yeah, she said it, and we do know that these bugs are most commonly found under porches, also in piles of wood, in outdoor dog houses. Experts recommend you clean those out regularly. They also say it wouldn't hurt to seal up any gaps you have in any windows and doors around your home. And if you're interested in some more precautionary measures, we're going to post them for you on our website, WXYZ.com. For now, I'm Amira David, 7 Action News. Ooh, I hope some deep works. <laughs> My goodness. One more problem. Right. A new